Visit Indy says that they're having no issues taking care of an estimated 32,000 people in town for Bands of America's competition. That's despite a shortage of hospitality workers. Adam Pidsker dives into the economic benefit this event will have on the city. 99 bands from 18 states, including Indiana, are back at Lucas Oil Stadium for the Grand National Championships after a one-year hiatus due to the COVID-19 pandemic. For this to have been taken away through no one's fault for almost two years was so terrible, but the return has been so fantastic. The Bands of America Grand National Championships is just one of many events the city is hosting over the next couple months, including an auto trade show, Big Ten Football Championship, and the College Football National Championship. This event has called Indianapolis home for 46 years and is expected to have a $16 million impact on the local economy. We've been hosting events since July of 2020, and we are one of the leaders in the industry to do so. So we've hosted a handful. We were lucky to have uh, 60,000 plus strong for FFA just a few weeks ago. Visit Indy says it hasn't received any complaints from the thousands of visitors in town for the event, despite a shortage of hospitality workers. When we know it's a citywide opportunity right now is for the hospitality industry to grow. Typically in a pre-pandemic day, the city has more than 80,000 hospitality workers and we're not near that number right now. The semifinals and finals take place Saturday and at the end of the evening, one school will be crowned a winner. Organizers are grateful Indianapolis was able to host the event. They say the competition not only benefits Indianapolis, but the students as well. And it's very well documented that students of the arts have higher uh, attendance rates, graduation rates, and test scores. So in other words, strong music programs increase the bang for your educational bucks. And the field will be turned around just in time for Sunday's Jaguars-Colts game. Officials say expect Indianapolis International Airport to be crowded on Sunday as families leave the state. In Indianapolis, I'm Adam Pinsker for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.